Columbia University. I mean, these protesters are emboldened and marching through the streets, literally supporting Hamas. I went to Israel. I saw the 47-minute video. I witnessed what these monsters did. The level of depravity. I, 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 one of the things I'm torn about is getting graphic with you and describing to you specifically what these monsters did. Kristen has a cut, I think it was 17 you said, of what protesters here in America are saying. I believe this particular protest was at I can't hear you. Can't. I, you know, was it was it Columbia? Was one of the Columbia? All right. This is on Columbia University's campus. This is Columbia University, Ivy League school, New York City, where Trump is being prosecuted. You know, maybe there'll be some pro Hamas sympathizers on the Trump jury. Finally, the president of Columbia said, "Enough is enough. Let's clear them out." And the cops went in and cleared these monsters out. But I want you to hear the chants. Keep it moving, you Zionist bitch. Keep it moving, you Zionist bitch. Keep it moving, you Zionist bitch. We are Hamas. We are Hamas. We are Hamas. You're what? You're Hamas? Yes, we're all Hamas, Long live Hamas. Long live Hamas. We're all Hamas. Get the F out of here. We are all Hamas. Uh, God forgive me. I'm sorry, but I have to say it. That young woman with her face wrapped up in a scarf saying we are all Hamas pig to a Jewish person and said, long live Hamas. I'm going to share with you one example of something that the Hamas terrorists did on October 7th. I've been praying for this. I've been praying over this. It is grotesque. It is horrible. I'm going to get a lot of criticism for telling you. But I want you to know exactly what these people did to the victims, to the Jewish victims of the October 7th massacre. And again, This might be a mistake. I know I'm going to anguish people in the audience, particularly women. It's hurtful. It's evil. It's poison. But it's a fact. This is truth. As I learned from the video and from my visit to Israel, you've heard about people being burned alive. You've heard about babies being butchered. We visited a kibbutz where an elderly man was brutally murdered. We saw his walker. I, I'm sorry to say, and I'm, again, i am got great regret in telling you this, but as you hear somebody on the campus of Columbia University in New York City proudly say, long live Hamas, And we are all Hamas, you Zionist pigs. You want to know what they did to at least one of the women that they raped? They cut her breasts off while raping her. Now, if you can stand on a college campus, and again, I I understand if you have been greatly offended by me sharing that. I have tried to avoid telling you that, but I feel an obligation to do so. This is ugly, awful, true, evil stuff. And frankly, I think a woman who stands on a college campus and supports an organization that cut the breasts off of a terrified woman who was being raped simply for being Jewish 
you need to be put on an island somewhere, a desolate, isolated space where you cannot interact with any any humanity because you're subhuman. 